Get yourself a tape wrapped mummy head. And now you're saying, why did we do that? Okay. We did that. So that way we have a sticky surface to stick fabric to. So we're going to take fabric and now we're going to wrap that onto this. So whatever side of the fabric that you want to be seen on the inside of the mask, you stick that to the tape and the other side will not be seen. So in my case, I don't want the white to show. I want this awesome pattern to show. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the pattern to the mummy. What I tried to do is cover this in as big pieces as possible. Okay. But you don't want giant wrinkles and things like that. So I'm going to take it kind of a piece at a time. Um, and I'll just kind of walk you through it. It's not too bad. Um, but here we go. You want to gently tug and kind of apply it at the same time. What you're trying to do is keep that surface as flat as possible without causing too much tension on your fabric. Okay. If it starts to wrinkle, you can pull it up and put it back down. Then I'm just going to kind of take this all the way down to the bottom here. Just gently getting one area like that from the bottom to the top rubbed out. Rubbed down a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go as far as I can without wrinkling. But once I start to wrinkle, then I'm going to either make a wrinkle on purpose. So like this. And I'm going to get all the fabric to stick down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that wrinkle off later. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap the whole thing and um, fast forward again. So here we go. I'm going to trim down some of this because I'm having problems working the fabric around because it's attached to one another and it needs to spread out and open. So I'm going to go down here below the neck and I'm just going to cut a straight line out so it's easier to wrap. Okay, let's continue. See, I've got pretty smooth all the way around. I just trimmed it up as I went. Nice straight line. Well, straight-ish. Doesn't have to be perfect. You can trim it up a little nicer later. Okay. So now I'm just going to finish wrapping the head and then we'll trim down the wrinkles. And here we go.
Okay, so you probably noticed that what I'm doing as I go, as I lay it down a little bit, cut a little bit more, trim a little bit more, cut a little bit more, I keep going back and forth and laying it down um, carefully to ensure that when it's down, it's pretty flat and smooth and there's not big wrinkles like this. If there are big wrinkles like that, you make them intentionally, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna trim those wrinkles with scissors. I'm gonna hold it up and I'm gonna trim that right off, okay? And then also where it seams up here, where the two sides come together, I'm gonna go ahead and trim that back so you can see just a tiny bit of masking tape under both, between the seams. That'll kind of keep the seams from uh, lifting when you do the next step. And you don't want them to lift up and then start unraveling while you're working on um, actually putting on the burlap. So I'm just going to continue going for a little bit and uh, just, here we go. Look at that, can't even see it. There it is. Now, see all the way around. Look at that. Perfect. That's it for that step. Once you've got it nice and smooth, trimmed all the edges down so it doesn't catch, um, you're ready to go for the next part. So, um, stay tuned. The next video is coming soon. Uh, and uh, have fun building this. Take your time on this. Uh, this is going to be against your skin inside, uh, so it's good to have a nice, clean, um, soft uh, fabric lining. So that's how you put the fabric lining in. Um, we kind of build everything up backwards, and uh, you'll see in the end how it makes sense. Um, so once you've done that, we'll move on to the next video. So I'll see you guys soon. See ya. Coffee break. Out.